Like the fucking blue boys, huh? The blue boys. Uh, well, what happened over there? I'll tell you what happened, bro. If you weren't watching, Jackie Noon's after the siren. In the ass, no babies, mate. These Western Australians, bro, they're going to be cocky there for a bit, huh? But I'll tell you what happened to them, bro. da 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 dam cunts, bro. Fix them up. Dom, we had a feeling you'd be excited this morning, my friend. What a way to finish the game off. What a win for Carlton. Unbelievable. Can you run us through what was going through your mind when Nunes was having that last kick at goal? The kick. Missed the kick, bro. Didn't catch it, huh? Turned it off the second. Nunes got that free kick because I fucking knew, mate. Straight through the big sticks. I had faith in my boys. Always got those faith. You know what I'm talking about. Mate, the second he got that free, I switched that fucking TV off. Went and grabbed myself a nice bottle of limoncello, brother. Told the missus to lube up. I tell you what, the Blues wouldn't be the only ones coming from behind that night, huh? You know what I'm talking about. Well, you switched the game off. That is unbelievable confidence, Dom. Unbelievable. How did you even know they won? To be honest, bro, to be completely honest, next door neighbor lady was screaming her fucking head off. So I oh, kind of Jared, you know, they're blue supporters next door, so I clicked. But then again, the next door neighbors are Turks, mate, so she could have just put down the uh, the black coffee without a coaster, mate. Minky, what happens to that poor lady sometimes when you hear her screaming? Mate. But you know what? Shout out to Huss next door. Huss, bro, if you're listening. Dom, Dom, can we stick to football, please, mate? We, we need to stick to the footy with this. Um, we, you just beat Fremantle. It was one hell of a game, and up next, the Blues have the Gold Coast Suns. What are your thoughts on the Blues' chances against the Gold Coast this week? Gold Coast? Huh? Well, what do you think this is, a surfing competition, bro? I don't even know those fucking bums still had a fucking team. Mate, come on, bro. You, you know us, huh? You know us. I'll tell you who's fucking coasting, mate. Don't worry about the Gold Coast. The fucking Navy Blues are coasting, my friend, all the way to Premiership glory this year. Bought myself a grand final ticket yesterday, mate. You got to get in early. Half price for Dom, too, because I know people, huh? Grand final tickets? Dom, they haven't even announced the venue yet. Please, mate, huh? Princess Park. You get the inside word like Dom does, mate. You know the granny's going down to Princess Park. The whole fucking league's going to be stuck in the Carlton Flats. But not the Carlton boys, mate. They're staying at fucking Dom's place. All right? They're going to be eating my famous carbonara every fucking night. Get the carbs for the boys, huh? And don't worry, I got the dessert lined up too, huh? These Sheilas, mate. 8.5s, all of them, mate. You know Dom how he is with the fucking ladies, my friend. These women, they don't look like fucking Fraser Brown and Tommy Alvin, my friend, mate. These, these women, Jakey boy. Huh, top shelf. Well, look, Dom, I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, my friend, but regardless whether it does or it doesn't, myself and the team here at Off-Field Issues, we have always admired your sense of optimism and your sense of pride in your football club. Yeah, mate, pride is all you got sometimes. You know, sometimes all you got, Jakey boy, eh? and you got to protect it, mate. And Dom protects his pride, brother, We're at all costs. And how do you do that, Dom? How do you stave off the negativity and maintain your own personal sense of pride? By being a real fucking man, yeah? That's how you fucking protect your pride, mate. Pride is everything to Dom, huh? I went swimming last year with the missus and kids, mate, out at the beach. Go for a swim, I'll get caught in a rip. I think, fuck, I'm gonna drown here, mate. I look across the lifeguard, wave my arms. I see the lifeguard's a chick. Mink, you're fucking a woman over there. She's gonna save me, mate. Put the arms straight down, bro. I'd rather fucking drown. Well, to, to be honest, Dom, that doesn't sound very smart, mate. Or prideful. It kind of sounds a little bit chauvinistic, if I'm completely honest. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't be like that. Don't fucking be like that, Jakey boy. I hear what you're insinuating, my friend, and I, and I don't fucking care for it, huh? You know Dom loves the ladies, mate. I'm not like that at all, bro. I just don't want to be saved by him, huh? I was waiting for uh, for, for Paddy Cripps to come and fucking save me, bro. Throw me on his shoulders and drag me across the line like he does for the Blue Boys every fucking week. So who ended up saving you in the end? The chick. The, the female lifeguard. But I'll tell you something, mate. If, if I would have known she was a fucking bomber supporter before that, I wouldn't have used so much tongue when she gave me mouth to mouth, you know? Dom, thank you very much for joining us here at Off Field Issues once again, my friend. Take care of yourself. Ciao, ciao, Jackie boy. See you at the granny, mate, down at Princess Park, huh? Salud.